Guys, it's a beautiful but rainy day in the bluegrass, and what we're doing today is we have to run up to the local rural electric cooperative and do a dog safety seminar. And uh, so we're going to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Number one, I have to kind of send uh, uh, Hannah's owner a little update because she's 16 weeks old now. So we're going to see how she's doing, and I'm going to talk to you about the importance of what I do in relation to your fellow citizens. Come on, Hannah, hop, hop, hop. So we're gonna knock out our normal stuff that we do here. We're gonna walk and work on vocabulary. But the bigger issue that I want you to think about here, guys, is that I'm in a time press today because I have to go do a safety demonstration for men who work, and some women, uh, who work uh, you know, they do a hard job. They come read your meters. They make sure that your lines are, are up and that you can watch YouTube videos because you have electricity, okay? Those people should not have to deal with under-socialized dogs running out of the bushes and biting them on the behind while they're trying to get in your yard to do work for you. So if you're going to have a dog, you need to be a good citizen. You know, I, I, I don't know how that got lost in time where like people started thinking about me, me, me. Like I want to do what I want to do and I want to have a dog and my dog's important and whatever. Well, guys, think about the other people in your neighborhood. Think about the people that your dog has to come in contact with. You know, <clears throat> you have a job, right? Well, the guy that reads your meter, he also has a job. And he needs to be able to count on the fact that he can come to your house and when your dog sees him, the dog doesn't think, oh my gosh, there's an intruder, I'm going to run over there and bite him. You know, the dog needs to look and go, oh, that's the meter reader. I'm cool with the meter reader. I know the meter reader has a wife or a husband and children and activities and they have a life they want to live and they can't live that life very well if I go over there and put a bunch of holes in their uh, back of their leg or their behind, easy, you know. So look, it's raining. And I'm talking to you about, uh, uh, about socializing your dog and about your responsibility towards having a, a well-socialized dog that treats people with kindness and respect. But like, notice while I'm, when I'm doing it, I'm doing it while I'm wet and I'm pressed for time. The point of this video is you have plenty of time to socialize your dog. You have plenty of time to train your dog. It's just how are you making use of your time? Everybody in the world has the, everybody, because I hear this all the time, well, Stoney, I'm too busy. Everybody has the same 24 hours. You have the same pre, the 24 hours that the, the president has, you know, okay? You have the same 24 hours that I have. Now, you might have some things to do during that 24 hours that I don't have, okay. All right, you can still block out a little time. Look what I'm doing here, I'm multitasking. I'm getting ready to go do a seminar. I'm talking to you guys about socializing your dogs. I'm training this dog and I'm making a video for this dog's owner. So you can do it if you allocate your time properly. So what have we worked on? We worked on our basic uh, training, our basic vocabulary work. And uh, now we're gonna work on a little bit of retrieving. Oh my gosh, and it's wet and Han is like, hey, uh, I'm kind of tired. I don't know that I want to retrieve real quickly. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to press her about it. We're just going to get two or three reps in. And uh, then we're going to go back doing something else fun. Oh my gosh, very nice dog. You bring that to me. I'm going to be happy with you. Knock out a couple of reps. You always have time to knock out a couple of reps. <clears throat> so I did a little on-leash training. I uh, did a little fetching. Now I'm going to do a little bit of, of uh, target stick training. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up, up. Come on, come on, you can do it. Very nice. Oh, come on, Hannah. Easy. Oh, that's a very nice dog. Easy. Good. And this can be frustrating, guys. Like if you get out and it, and it gets to raining, puppy, puppy. Sometimes your puppy won't want to pay quite as good of attention. Like uh, with Hannah, I mean, she's 16 weeks old. She's got things on her mind. She's been running around with her pals and uh, her pals all went in and take a little bit of nap, get out of this rain. And she had to stay out here and help me make a video. So yeah, she's like, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna be super excited about this. You're gonna feel the same way sometimes. Like you're gonna be like, oh, I gotta go to work. I can't get wet. Yes, you can. And you gotta lead by example. The last video I made, come on, Hannah, come on, come on. The last video I made, we were talking about uh, modeling the behavior. Well, how am I gonna expect this dog to uh, behave well all the time like if I don't do my part, easy, all the time. And so that's what I always wanna make, make the dogs understand. I got a dog. I'm gonna make time for that dog to be successful, right? And not just be successful from my standards, but to be successful, come on, come on, come on, from my neighbor's standards. Come on, Hannah, come over here. So we'll work on some directional stuff. Hannah, come over here. Very nice. 
Okay, and so always remember what I say, guys, is you want your dog to come and to be still and have good manners from your neighbor's perspective. Well, some of your neighbors, they have to come into your yard to read your meter. Okay, some of your neighbors have to come into your yard to make sure your electric works. Some of your neighbors have to come into your yard to make sure the sewage works. Those are all important things. Those are very important jobs. People don't, they don't give those people enough respect. Okay, you owe the guy that's keeping your lights on the respect of making sure that your dog is well socialized and will treat them with respect when they come over to your house. I mean, that just seems like common sense to me. And uh, so my buddy, he called me, he runs a electric cooperative and he was telling me about the, the crazy amount of problems, you know, his men have with dogs, uh, you know, biting them while the men are just trying to do their jobs. And so what does that do? That interferes with the, the men and some women's lives. It interferes with their family lives. It costs the company money. And a lot of times what happens is even the dog has a bad uh, result of it because the dog bites a person, then they gotta be quarantined. And if they bite two or three people, you know what happens then, it's never any good. Come on, honey, good. So let's just, let's, let's stop that. It's the 21st century. There's no reason. There's no, there's not a lack of knowledge. You don't have to be able to hire a, a professional dog trainer like me hup, 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 to have a well socialized and well trained dog. I mean, there's a lot of dog trainers just like me putting up all kinds of free content on YouTube. There's a thousand books at the library that you can get. Okay, so let's stop pretending like you don't have time to get out and socialize and train your dog because you do. So stop making excuses and uh, stop being disrespectful towards your fellow citizens, especially those fellow citizens that uh, have to you know, sacrifice their own personal safety to make sure that you have water and sanitation and electricity. Now, I know most of my videos are a little bit more upbeat than this one, you know, but uh, so I don't mean to lecture you, I don't mean to give you a hard time, but I do want to, you know, hold you to account because this uh, epidemic of dogs being rude to other dogs and being rude to people, especially workers, vets, groomers, cable guys, whoever, it's just, it's out of hand and there's no reason for it because the only thing that's standing in between you and having a happy, healthy, well-socialized dog is a little bit of putting the work in, okay? So get out there, make time to put the work in, don't let the weather affect you, model the behavior you want to see from your dog to your dog, and I promise you're going to be successful and everybody's going to be a lot happier. All right, good luck, guys.